There once was a boy named Stu. Okay. <laughs> have you written my songs for me? I've, oh, have we started? Start We're, now. Okay. I do, I do. You write my songs? I don't want them yet. I've got something else to tell you. Well, they're just like, they're not real. I haven't written the songs. I've just found songs. Oh, so with you're you. original. No. We, oh, well, wait, Jack. wait, hold on. What was my actual thing? Didn't I have to find songs? Yeah, with the names. With the, with the word you in it and then yeah. give my version with Stu. Yeah. So they're just little, like, lines. Yeah, they're just, they're, they're, they're lyric lines. Yeah, like, yeah. Little lines. Yeah. So what did you want? I just wanted to tell you that I forgot how to drive this morning. Lu- Louisa, you've never, you can't forget something you don't know. No, it's, you know, it's like you have like a micro sleep and you, I think this has happened to me uh, before. The only thing I know that I definitely have, which is micro, is penis. It, besides from that. Right. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to pull, I'm going to pause the story here. Yep. Let's go a whole leap or so without innuendos or sexual references. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. Who the it. fuck are you talking to? Let's try it. All right. Let's try and be highbrow. Back to the driving. Yeah. So I drove Alfonso here and I just was turning into the, the studio street and I just went, fuck me, which ones go, which ones stop? And I almost just had this like, was, wouldn't call it an epiphany because an epiphany would be like, I know how to drive. But I was like, Walza, what's going on here? Whoa. So, so you forgot that right pedal accelerate. Yes. Left pedal brake. It could have been really dangerous if there were many people on the road. Run me through that. Well, it was just like I was like, Fuck, where, where was, where's my foot going here? It's like my foot was doing a little Irish jig. You, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be allowed to be on the road. Well, Jack, usually Jeeves drives me here. Darling, and what has he taken holiday? Jeeves has got the flu. Oh. And then you went boxing. So, oh, I mean, God. how was I meant to get here? What? Can I ask you a question? No, because I can sense the tone in your mouth that's going to be mean. Tone in your mouth. Uh, <laughs> not in your voice. You can't sense the tone in my voice. You could sense the tone in my mouth. Yes, I could feel it coming out. Do you know what else they could feel? Yeah. Well, what I didn't do it. What were you going it. to say? You know how you take like six months off a year. What does Jeeves do while you're on those six months holidays? I don't take six months off a year, Jack. Last I, year it was about four. Last year it was a solid four. It was like four Three. and a half months. No, it was not. We, we, remember we worked it out, buddy. It was a long time. It was over a third of the year that you had on holiday. That is, I did it Europe and I did Thailand. And New Zealand a few times. For long weekends? No, for weeks. Say la vie. What's a Friday among friends? <laughs> Come on. What does Jeeves do? He comes with me. Oh, he does. He lifts so my... So he doesn't even get a holiday on he your lifts holidays. He lifts my um, carry-on up yep. into the thing. Smart. And then he sits on the aisle as I'm on the... He yeah. sits in the aisle. Yeah, just in case I you need don't, anything. You don't get him a seat. No, just in case I need anything. Jeeves. Oh, and so when the trays are coming back and forth, like up, up and he's down. He's under my feet. Oh, he's a, he's a footstool. Yeah. He's a footstool. Yeah. Right. He loves it. Do, he does, does yeah. he? Yeah. What does Jeeves earn an hour? Four pounds. Four pence. Four pence. I mean, penny. four pounds. Four, pa- four pounds. Four pounds an hour. So you'll root him four times an hour for his job. Jack. Fuck, sorry. No innuendo. Sorry. Or no sexual, yeah, explicit. I forgot. What's that? Four minutes in? Well, that's where men step over the No, no actually, oh, gee, I keep forgetting. No, it is. Let's uh, pretend we're in a business meeting. Okay. And do the whole podcast as if we are mature business adults. Oh, like the business meeting that we were in yesterday where we put a, um, a, a background of lanterns. On the Zoom meeting because we were pissing ourselves before the meeting. Judge and I, <laughs> we, I arrived at Judge's house. We didn't speak a single word of adultness at all. No. We just played fun games yep. and were absolute idiots. Yep. And then we went to jump in a serious meeting with probably, what, like six other people? Yep. And we, we changed the background a few times and we landed on Moroccan lanterns. Yeah. And it, it didn't go down as funny as we thought. But can I be honest with you? Yeah. Sometimes... Sometimes the less funny something is to someone else, the funnier it, it is, is to, to me. You. I, it is to you. Sometimes it hurts. If I think a joke's really good and no one laughs, I'm like, that one stung. But sometimes if I know that a joke is, is only to please me and I still say it and no one laughs, it's almost more pleasing. Agree. All those moments where everyone goes, you had to be there and you're like in stitches trying to relay it to someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one else finds it funny, but when you think back to that moment, you're in full tears. <laughs> we just laughed. Yeah, the had to be there thing is fucking. Because you try to explain it and it never. Uh, yeah. But then I guess that's our job. So what? 
you know, like t- retelling a story that we thought may have been funny and then seeing if anyone else finds it funny. Well, yeah. comedy's subjective. Too. Fuck off. You just <laughs> learned this. She's learned this fucking expression. <laughs> The Comedy is week. subjective. Comedy so, is subjective. Now she know, will not stop saying say it. Say la vie. Seize the day. Live, laugh, love, dance like no one's watching. <laughs> Truly is subjective because that was not funny at all. Well, I wasn't trying to be funny. I was being dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> also, my tummy is absolutely rumbling. Like if I put the microphone up to it, put it. you'd hear it. Oh, go on. Let's see if this is true. But what if it doesn't go no, do it, now? do it. Jesus Christ, lift it up. Lift it up, Louisa. That was okay. Jack. Go that back down. Now. Go back down. <laughs> yeah, it is gross. Get the knife. Jesus Christ. Have you not eaten this morning? I haven't eaten this morning. Well, it's early. It's like 15. You haven't eaten. I know you I have eaten. You intermittent fast. No, I got, I got, um, I went and got to the cafe early so I could do some prep for the podcast. And, and I got myself a little, uh, Coffee and a bit of brekkie. What was your breakfast? Just that fucking avocado toast thingy. You that always they have. get that. And it it's gets, just easy. It gets all through your moustache and your beard. Does it now? Well, it's not now, but usually there's a lot of green residue. Is there? Often. Thanks but, for letting me know, kid. No, I do tell you. I go, you get a little something there, and then I grab it from yours, and I go, and I lick it. <laughs> I don't. Well, people would probably think we do. One time, you put your finger up my nose, and then I licked it. So one time. Buddy, it, that's happened nearly every time we've seen each other. It happened this morning. It happened this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like We're sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick We're fucks. Sick. What's that song? Insane in the membrane. Cypress Hill. Now, Willie, how are you this morning? You were a little bit tired. You know, how last four boys have been punishing you. I was here till eleven PM last night. Fuckers. Just know with us, bruh. Tobbers Tobbers taking days off, you know what I mean? He's What's Tobbs doing well, these Willie, days? Well, Willie. Chat to HR. Oh, oh, hang on. Shit. We don't have one. <laughs> I'll, I'll be HR. No. Why? Because I'd stop everything. Yes. Got, well, I say that, but then we saw me with the bloody foam roller the other day. Yeah, but that's off. That's off air. That's oh, in yes. private. If, if you were to run this podcast, we'd be talking about fucking um, bunny wabbits. Off. <laughs> Oh, and I saw a little bunny hopping across the meadow with standy-wions. <laughs> and I'd go, did it have a cock? And you'd go, that's just disgraceful. <gasps> Do they? Yeah. They'd be little. I don't know. Where would they my sit? Mum, my mum has a toy poodle. This little fucking uh, chocolate cunt oh, named, well, named Louie. Willie, he's been saying the word very aggressively lately. I don't think that was aggressive. <laughs> well, okay. Hey, well, enough, are you of this, to enough of this gang and up shit. Mind. This happened fucking last podcast as well. Now, now you stop it because we're supposed to gang no, up on you. No, that's not how it works. It Dior, is. This is a Dior sexist was, workplace. Dior, Dior was very in the middle, which is what Wilbur is. No, he's more my, he's more my Just boy. Just because you guys live together yeah, and had a bit of background. We're, we're pal, you know what Willie, I mean? Willie, how about you and I head for lunch? Tomorrow. Oh, don't, dude. You know what she does when she goes to lunch with the guys? Doesn't pay. You'll have to pay. So <laughs> I invite Willie to lunch and then I do the wallet dance. <laughs> oh, oh, my good God. Good oh, well, gracious. Well, would you look at that? We've just headed to um, Mr. Wong's and the bill is, oh, well, that's $550. And <laughs> Sorry, I Willie. cannot find my wallet. Do you have paid a phone? Oh, my. It's oh, dead. Oh, that's out of battery. It's dead. What were we talking about? mm what were we talking about? Bunny wabbits. Nah. The poodle that you called this cunt. So, so I've never been so surprised in my life, right? We, we're out uh, back on the farm. Fucking, I think we're out by the fire pit out the back. Just drilling grogs. More surprised than when Steph said yes. Sorry, it just came to my mind. I thought this was quite funny. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> That's the HR, everybody. <laughs> yeah, God. I'm happy Jesus with Jesus Christ. Um... And we're just standing, we're having drinks, spinning yarns by the fire. One of the great all-time things to do. I look to my right. Mum's poodle is standing there, like hunched over, like an arch in his back like this. But you said it's a toy. A toy poodle is a, a breed of dog. Are you fucking serious? Do you think, did you think this time, the whole time that my mum had a toy poodle... 
you fucking serial killer. <laughs> you are a fucking idiot. <laughs> what? My mum can my mum carries around a stuffed fucking toy. Just in this instance Louisa, of the story. Jack, this instance income. of the story, you said a toy poodle. It is a breed. So I th- how the hell would I know all the breeds of the dogs? I know corgis and pit bulls and schnauzers. You, you. Jack Russells and Labradors and Golden Retrievers. I don't know. I know poodles, but I didn't know there were toy poodles. Sometimes. Sometimes. You wonder how I've got this far in life? Uh, 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 Me too. Uh, all the time. Me too. Sometimes I'm like, is Lou playing this up a little bit? Playing up the oh, the dumbness. I'm not dumb. A- and then. The way you described it was then, as if it was a toy. I know you've got and dogs. And then you come out with stuff like this. I'm like, oh, no, she was deprived of her at birth. You can't say that. <laughs> Sorry, you aren't HR. Well, Don't, I, we, we role played you being HR for a little bit. You're not actually no, HR. No, I've decided Sugar. I am. I'm going to call Eddie and Burma and say, I've given myself a new title. And it's Mrs. HR. Yep. I'm elected I, HR. I've got a dick. Usually that would be an HR issue in the workplace. But guess what? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Willie's, got a, Will, Willie's got a healthy blue vein custard chucker. Stop it. Fuck, carry she, on she, with she's your, actually pretty good. Uh, did, did carry work. on with your toy poodle. Yeah, That's real did, life actually, and not a toy story. Okay, not a toy story. <laughs> was that on purpose? That was very good. Thank you. It's okay, so we're fucking sitting around the fire and I look across. Now, I'd never seen Louis' lipstick, <laughs> all right? And when I say lipstick, I mean... Right. Right. Cock. He's hunched over like this, just looking at me, staring me dead in the eyes like this. And I look over, Louis' cock is about that big. It's nearly touching the ground. So th- it for would the big readers who can't see, so it would we're po- on a podcast. Sorry, it'd video. be Ten f- five inches. Ten centimetres. Don't know, what's an inch? 2.5 centimetres, isn't it? Dude, it is huge. Zero, for a- 0.7 of a basketball? Yeah, so if you minus, minus the three the square root, the dog. 12.7 centimetres. Right. So okay, maybe I've exaggerated. Yeah, probably that. ten centimeters. How big's a toy pood? He is literally. This, oh, the, I know. He's those the t- size of that Kevin behind. I it. know those tiny ones. Yeah, uh, he's been in my videos. It, it, tiny, and he's just. And I was like, buddy, what's that? I was like, Louis, you're good, bud. That's a toy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you're good, buddy, and he's just looking at me like terrified. His dick's so big. It somehow it's come out, and he couldn't get it. Back, back in. in. So we had to be like pushing him and being like, buddy, what's going on? And he's just like, he looks so awkward and terrified. I'm like, mate, what has happened? I'm like, also, congrats on the monster. So we, he's not using it we often. We knuckled each other. Not really. Well, We've, then obviously not if he's so scared when it pops out. But I think that it had gone too far out. How and he couldn't it get it. It's just so big. He's a, he's a rooster. It's quite t- well, it's, I suppose it's the same as like some short kings are the same. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the bloke in that locker room that I saw, you know, the old mate with the fucking anaconda, yes. the Burmese python, he um he what he was a short king. Yeah. Just long in other places. Well would you look at that? Yeah, apparently there's a rule. You got this. Tall guy. Short guy. What does that mean? So that's how tall he is, that's how big his dick is. Ah, no, short guy. Not, I like that. But that's not guaranteed with everyone. How do you know? What do you mean? It's not it, it, like you can't just have one rule for everyone. Yeah, you can. No, you can't, Jack. How tall is T to D? Jack Edward Archdale. <laughs> Stop it. Ah, no, you can't. No. Because I know some giants, giant men, beasts of men, Louisa, with fine appendages. Now I know some short kings with some absolute hung, uh, double whoppers. Okay. Mm. I haven't had Hungry Jacks in a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty my, uh, hungry uh, for Jack, for a bloke named Jack. Hungry. So, if you've ever. You know what I did yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> what? Balled my eyes out to a TV show. What? Oh my God. I'm On still purpose? Reco- oh, I. Uh, 
You, you couldn't not cry. Fuck, you birds are weird. It's called One Day. Everyone who has Oh, hasn't seen Burmo it, been watching it? Yeah. I text Burmo and I said, well, I'm fucked now. I'm going to be crying for the next month. And he goes, sometimes I walk out the door going, I don't want to ruin it, but. Don't, don't spoil the show. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil the show, but he was What's like, the show about? Love. Ah, uh, I won't be fucking watching it's it. It's honestly, the lo- like, I'm, I'm not kidding you. Like, I'm, I'm not much of a crier. You know I'm not. Was full, so, like w- like not even just like no like like my na- na- no my neighbours would have heard me and been like should we go and check on oh her? my days there's this one scene where he's crying and I was like uncontrollably sobbing being like <sighs> no <sighs> Bruh. no you don't understand Jack if you Google it I just don't enjoy or go that on type TikTok. Of media. Every single person is like me before watching one day, me at oh, the end. Dinkum. Like it's the last episode is the most fucked thing. I've never cried like this from a movie or series. Like Fair full weeping. And, and even afterwards for two hours, I'd just be like, I'd think of that scene. No. And I'd just be like, no. Why do they do this to I you? I sent 10 day day a photo of me and he goes, oh no, Lulu's a bit rattled. <laughs> but like full ugly crying. He was like, oh, oh. Dude, you look gorgeous him. when you cry. It's opposite day. <laughs> Although, what, what's the show about? Give us a gist of so, it. So I won't give it give away us the too gist much, of it. but pretty much it's like a, they meet at the end of university. Mm-hmm. And why are you laughing at me telling you about the story? We haven't laughed. Both of you looked at each other and giggled. No, we didn't. I just thought about something that happened yesterday. Yeah, and I thought about the same thing with telekin- telekinesis, Kyle. Please well, tell me then. No, just give us the gist of the show. Well, I want to know what you guys were giggling at. Please provide us with the gist of the show. Oh, right. Yeah. Couldn't help it. Do you actually want to know what happened in the show? Yes. But not don't spoil it for anyone. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to say the pretty much they meet in high, uh, they meet at university and then it just follows them throughout the years. I guarantee one of them dies. And that and they were like kind of in love and then you sort of just follow them around for the next probably 12 years. No longer. Oh, okay. Maybe 15 years. Yeah, and has it been well received, this show? Very well. He's gorgeous as well. Is he now? Yeah. Um, very well very well received. But it Apparently just... there's a movie of it as well, and I might watch that to cry. And Why? Just because sometimes it's nice to feel things. And then also Normal People is another good one to cry to. I, I, I'm not ever looking for any he, media to cry to. Has Steph seen one day? I don't know, but I fucking hope she has If she watches that. Oh, mate, that's stress I don't need. No, it'll be hours of tears. Fuck, she's fuck's sake. It's a great series. Oh, I can't. I, I, we'll take the photos down, Willie. I'll start crying again. It's just, it's just. i tell you what was sad in Spider, Spider-Man no way home when um, Aunt May dies. Haven't seen that Spider Man. Is yeah, that, that the one was with sad. Timothy Sh- Chamelay? Nah, this no. th- this was. Hey, can I can I give you the hot tip? Please. Thank you. And we no sexual innuendo <clears throat> there. Can I tell you? Who I reckon's a cool rooster, Timothy hey. Chamelay. Oh, you know him personally, do you? No, mm-hmm. no. Oh, no, tell us about him. What's he like behind doors? I, what are his hobbies, Jack? You know how, like... Why do you love him? You, you He's a good friend. You know how you just see people in interviews and shit? I've seen a fair few interviews with the kid. And I reckon he'd just be a cool rooster. But he just like, seems like a, a, a bit of a sick cunt. People think you're a cool rooster and then the mics go off and you go, get the fuck out of here, Willie. Oh, fuck off, Lou. Bro, can I spin you a yarn? Yeah. Last night, ste- we're in bed and I'm fucking on my phone. Steph goes, could you send a birthday message to this bird? She loves the podcast. I said, yeah, no sweat. I'm laying on my phone. And so, as a joke, Steph, start, I hear her start recording. And I go, fuck off. I said, fuck off, cunt. As she's recording, right? And then I'm like, no, stop it. Let's do the message. She sends the fuck off, cunt video. She goes, oop. I go, what? She goes, I sent the wrong one. I said, did you just send the video of me saying fuck off, cunt? She goes, yes. And I go, to the girl? She goes, yep. I'm like, dude, what? Now it looks like you're this absolute uh, wanker oh, at home. mate. Don't look at me while I'm scrolling on I, TikTok. And then she, Eyes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyes up now. And she's like, oh, I sent the second one. Don't worry. And I'm like, yeah, but delete you already the sent the one. first one, bud. Oh, mate. Did she delete it? You sent. But you can delete it. But not, not after it's sent, right? 
Yeah. If Not it's for on, them. If, it's if they WhatsApp, received it, right? It's on text message. No, then you can't do anything. Oh. Once they're received up, it's yeah. fucking there. Did she go, ha, this is a little gag, Jarch? No I idea. But I was just like, oh, fuck. So I'm so sorry to Kate. Fuck off. Fuck off, Kate. You're like, fuck off. Leave me my steak in peace. Sorry, I was in bed. Let me eat my shapes and twisties in bed with M&Ms poured in them all over my chest. Now, you know you're making things sexual. Sorry, guys. It's just... I was literally talking about eating. Huh? You're correct. <laughs> How's that sexual? Oh, we know how you operate. TDD spun me some yarns. Well, he Whipped has... cream ring a bell? We've never used that. Mm? Whipped cream. Chocolate also... fondue ring a bell? Whipped cream's overrated. Tastes like shit. Oh, I used to love whipped cream. Anything in a can like that. Remember I tried that canned cheese and wanted yeah, yeah, to throw up? Yeah, but canned cheese, Louise, it come now. Well, I just wanted to try it. I'm like a child. I it, saw it and went, you're mine. I mean, for fuck's sake. But whipped cream? Are people really having a banana? <laughs> a banana split with chocolate and putting yeah, whipped cream on it? Yeah, they are. They are. And those fake cherries. Fairies. You know those red ones and they'd go in the Christmas pudding? I, I actually really, I, I'm going to... I like them. Oh, you're sick. The maraschino? I beg your pardon? Are they maraschino the red, cherries. Are is they that what it is? The red and green ones? They're disgraceful. I, I like them. They're absolutely disgraceful. I actually dig them. Why? Would you eat them on their own as a little treat? Yeah, just pop one in. You? Yeah, I would. Don't wink at me as you say oh, that. I didn't. But do you actually like them? I do pr- truly like them. Do you know what I'm a real other big fan of? Jersey caramels. Ooh, I haven't had Jezza Kazza's in a while. I'll fucking fuck you up, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Jezza Kazza's is just ridiculous. Jump on, jump on Google, Willie, for yeah, me, those, please. Yeah, those cherries are off the head. Though, no, those are disgusting. Could you Google Jezza Kazza's for me? Jer- Jersey Kazza caramels, if you were just wondering the full, the full term for that one. Because <laughs> I think I know the ones you're meaning. Are they, they're similar to Werther's, but... No, chewy. they're a cube but they, they, you, you with get, a white strip in them. You know you can get the, the, the chewy Werther's? They're similar-ish, aren't they? Oh, the, yes, yes, yep, they're, yes. They remind me of Jill and Franco. They love those and they love licorice all sorts. You use them in cooking a lot, Jersey Caramels. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You what for? Just for fucking baked goods. Because mum always uses... Like a Kazza slice. Oh, fucking, mate, I'll start swinging. The, so the... Because <laughs> mum, mum would always have them in her baking... Area, you know what I mean? And as a kid, I would fucking pop the top and sneak some Jezza Kazza's. Um, and I'd sneak, and I just loved them. And can so you I bought buy a, that KG of those, Willie? Uh, no, d- d- I think you can. You can go to the, the no, I mean, can you do no, it right you're now? You're asking him to buy, oh, right to now. buy that one kilo right no, now. No, no, I think you can probably just go to the supermarket, post the podcast, and buy some Jezza not, Kazza's. Not often at every supermarket, they, they, they are not every supermarket. When was the last not time every you- soupy has Jezza Kazza's? Ja. <laughs> no, I guarantee you they do. But this, that shit basic brand. You want the proper OG Jesus? Oh, yeah, of course not. You never buy Oh, my, don't tell you me you're going. If you're seeing pineapple lums and then you're seeing the basic hot pineapple lums, you're going to go the basic over the, the piners? If I look at the price and the price is half the, the price. The price is right? The price is right, sugar? Yeah, I am. Not everyone grew up with a cinema. <laughs> I All didn't right, go kid. up with a cinema. Not everyone wears $4,000 joggers. You're not fo- All right? Not everyone has a roly-poly puddling You're pie. painting a picture of me that's not true. Not, not everyone has... Shut not your everyone mouth. Has Shut your mouth. Dior handbags. Shut your mouth. That you, that you Can I, I... Dude, you know the other day I was walking with Lou down the street and she was looking at this handbag. I said, how much was that? She goes, $48,000. And she goes, oh, but there's a scratch on it. She threw it at a homeless dude's head. It hit him in the forehead. Cut his forehead. And he started bleeding. And she goes, don't you bleed on my handbag, you scum. Started kicking him. And, st- and I had to drag her. It was like an animal, dude, like a wild tiger attacking its prey. Yeah. It was just... No, it, no that story was for off air. <laughs> Please. Um, you wanted to make him off air. You wanted to kill him. Oh, no, Jack. You did. I saw funny. it in your eyes. That's funny. Can I talk to you about those Golden Goose sneakers? Yeah, I just think they're I the most have, ridiculous fucking thing. I love them, but I have returned them... Twice. So why the fuck would you buy for them? the back coming off? So, g- it's happened again. It's happened again, and I can't I, return them now. Your fault. This is goes into my theory. Of I'm angry. Golden Goose, fuckwits. if you're listening, I am fucked off. Louisa, how much are they for a pair of joggers? 
Answer the question. Uh, I think it's 1,000 or 1,100. For fucks. And they've fallen it off? Twice. I think they're faulty. Well, they can't be faulty because it's my sec- third pair. This is why. But fashion, people who buy that shit, you're idiots. Because the sneakers you have forever is mine. No, you fucking don't. I sneakers are those. something you don't have forever. I have had these sneakers for five years. Dude, I've had sneakers that cost fucking $100 for five. Sneakers for me, Judge, is something that I like to put my coin into. Let me be. You put your coin into those cowboy boots? $300. Will you put your coin into your R.M. Williams? $800? Get them for free. Not all of them, so shut your mouth when you're speaking to me. I had, I got one pair of R.M.s when they were worth $345. Liar. Still got, swear to God. Still liar, liar, pants on fire. Got them as a present. Still have them today. Well, I will have these until I'm 40. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Trends will change and they'll go straight in the bin, baby. Disagree. <laughs> They're like me telling you the RMs will be done. No, 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 because that's something that is timeless. Well, I've got my RMs. Maybe I'll wear them next podcast. Well, maybe you should. Well, maybe I will. Well, but this is the problem. Don't you think... You are the problem. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think... This, this, but, this, but, but, Lou, so hold on. Let me just... I need to slow down here because I've got rage in my belly. Brands, right, like this, are no better quality than what you'd get with an Adidas three stripe, right? But they market it to fucking idiots with money, so they'll pay a thousand dollars for a pair of joggers, even though the quality is still poor. Do you understand what I'm saying? I Who like could, the look of golden gooses. You cannot get that look what, anywhere the, else. What, a white jogger? No, these are not golden gooses. My golden gooses. They, they look exactly the same. No, they don't. My golden gooses have a shiny gold star <laughs> with glitter. I like shiny, glittery things, Jack. You could literally get a kindergarten kid to be like, hey, kid, chuck some glue on this white jogger, put some glitter on it. Now, it's a golden goose. <laughs> You're a sick fuck, Dalton, and I like it. Right. What? It's coming from the man who has three Uniqlo t-shirts he fucking alternates between. Do you not? But do you notice that? Yes. Do you honestly notice now that I'm just wearing di- yes. pretty much different t-shirts You've got and a jeans? white, a blue, and a, a khaki. I've got two whites, blue, khaki, cream. Each to their own. I'm it's pretty happy own. with it. It's a new little system. Well, you're system. very happy with that. I'm happy. I like my shiny golden star golden gooses besides the quality of the back that keeps coming under. I'm not judging you. Uh, I'm just judging hey, you. Hey, um, Willie, let's severe, go back. I'm just severely uh, judging you. Let's go back three minutes ago and uh, fuck yeah, you are judging me. Yeah, you Cunt. just. Yeah, you just. <laughs> now that's. Now, Willie, Sorry. that was too aggressive. Sorry, Willie. Now, Willie, wouldn't you agree? That, that was, was aggressive. That was too aggressive. Now, my feelings are pretty much hurt now. Yep. We might have to take five. Five grand out of our savings to buy a pair of joggers. Yeah, let's do that. I was going to say, everyone get up and do a dance together, but I don't want to dance with you anymore. <laughs> well, unfortunately, next week we will be. We found a dance, Chicha. Good segue, kid. And we're also dancing in that thing. Can we mention that or not? I think we can. We just won't say what it is. We're, we're, no, I- maybe we shouldn't. We're- let's talk about it and then ask. Yeah. Ask. Well, no, let's just talk about it and beg for forgiveness. Yeah. Okay. We're not saying what. Jarch and I are going in a TV series and we are extras. Yep. And we thought, oh, cool, you know, we'll be like, I don't know, fighting or like. Well, it's quite so- a gnarly show. So yeah. I was like, fuck yeah, they might have to draw like Do something blood cool. on us and shit. Yeah. Um, we're in the dancing scene. It's a Mardi Gras dance scene. So you'll see Jarch and I in the, in the corner of the <laughs> shop, maybe some close ups, boogieing away. In the fucking, you know, form we had to fill out? Yeah. We had to fill out a form, send it in. You've also got to take photos of yourself if you've got any um, tattoos. tattoos. So I had to, so you had to take that very compromising shot because of the, where your tattoo is. I don't have any tattoos, beard bitters. Yeah, right, Jill. I'm so sorry. I don't. <laughs> no, she's a tattoo junkie now. Underneath there, it's like full bikey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a high school desk. Yeah, <laughs> it's just correct. tattoos of corgis <laughs> all over my body, just full of Tobys. Yeah, correct. And Kevin's. And you, so you had to take photos of yourself, like so. I'm like standing there in my apartment with my shirt off and taking photos with a tripe, just so normal Tuesday Arvo for you. Yeah, like, but yeah. It, usually it's in front of the mirror. Yeah, okay, cool. And you're going, oh, oh. and um, and then you had to rate yourself in terms of dancing, one to five. What'd you put? One. Same. There's no what. Sorry, because you know what you put five, and then they're like, we'll have you at the front. Yeah. All right, do the splits for us, Lou. 
Oh, Just chuck a backy. It makes the the funniest part is going to be is that we we won't be paired together or anything. Like we'll think, oh, fun. We no, can I, I hope giggle. we are. Oh, I know, me too. But I bet we'll be separated, and then Jarch and I will just look across and start passing ourselves. Mate, oh. imagine if they're like, okay, Jack, twirl around this like random partner. Oh, oh. for fuck's sake! <sighs> anyway, it's gonna be. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be Eki's The cringiest stuff. thing for me with dance videos is the smiling that they do. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's quite smug. Bro, I, I've got a real issue with anyone that sings and smiles. Oh, so you can't be happy now. Dude, no, dude, there's this chick. I don't know if you've seen her. Like smiling and sing, fuck you. I, I've seen this bird. Okay. There's this bird on fucking Instagram. Because you know how you just say my FYP is really fucked up. Uh, it's very Because it's all the weird. I love weirdos. Do you like them? Cause well, I, I hate. I no, love but to do hate you, them. As in, do you physically like the video? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why you keep getting more of them. But I want Amazing. them. I loved, I've, I've realised I think I'm a very cynical person. I love to hate watch shit. Yeah. I love it. There's this bird, real hippie fucking bird. Like, like she's... Have you seen her, bruh? The blonde bird? Who raps? She, who raps? Okay, so you've both got the same FYP. We are very similar, man, Willie. Yeah. We send each other some disgraceful shit. Um, she raps. She's like taken what a hippie is, like, you know, dreadlocks and a couple of rings in the hair, and she's, she's times to buy 35,000. So she's got 400 nose rings, all these hippie tattoos all over her hands, 40 million earrings, huge dreadlocks, dresses, beads and fucking shit. Every, she's like, whatever, and she raps. And it seems very narcissistic. All her songs are just about her and how... I'm well aware that I attract what I allow in. I am a vibration, people can tune in. I broadcast, I am love, I am abundant. Look at how she says abundance. I the golden light I trust in. My spirit guides, they help me land up on, on the, the best path. path. Is it out of time because of what we're playing or she always does it out of time? Look at that. Look at that small. Fuck it. Look at that small, bro. Okay. I mean, she's hot. That doesn't... If, uh, it offends me. Yeah, see, I just go, oh, like, cool. I won't, I'll just scroll up. I didn't think it was that bad. But now she's smiling when she sings, and so all the words doesn't look like well, she's saying People would find it offensive that you look like a rat. I understand that, Louisa. So she is allowed to be offended by my aesthetic. Rap is subjective, Jack. It, it's, oh, fuck, she's learned the word subjective. So Who came up with the word subjective? Let me guess. Aristotle? Aristotle. <laughs> Get Aristotle. Google Aristotle and go news. He has been... No, I know he's dead. Aristotle News? Because there might be, I don't know. You know some of those th things come out about people who are dead? <laughs> What's going on, Willie? <laughs> Let's see if there's any news. Like, I hope that when I die, if I die... It, when? If I die. When? Um, that it would be like, I don't know, Louisa Dell did news and there might be something 10 years later that came up. <laughs> Should we cancel Aristotle? Oh, he defended slavery and opposed the notion of human equality. What, in fucking 457 BC? But he is not our enemy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Probably not what I was after, Willie. Yes. Scroll up. It looks well, like there is news. We're cancelling Aristotle. <laughs> That's the latest news. Scroll Aristotle. up, Willie. I can see some Easter eggs. Aristotle. What's that about? <laughs> Aristotle's cancelled. He's Shit. human. He's like, fuck. Aristotle we just can't. releases a TikTok, a YouTube apology. Look, everybody, I'm so sorry for what they... Uh, Can't with. mention him on the podcast anymore. I'll need a, <laughs> yeah, new, I'll need a new guy. <laughs> Aristotle. Plato. Mm. Plato cancelled as well. But yeah, so that's good fun anyway. Would you, my kind, sweet sir, looking gorgeous in his Uniqlo top, his lovely boot cut pants and his cute little cowboy boots... Okay. Would you like... And his little leather belt with a big old buckle... This is, I got this for my 30th birthday. Well, that is gorgeous. And you've you got a new haircut and the mullet looks fab. What What do you want? Would you like to play Lulu Go Surf? I'd love that. Oh, there you go. Also, how's my mum emailing me? 3.59am. Ford. The surprising truth about alcohol. 3.59am. It's 6am for her, Jack. Okay. <clears throat> it's New Zealand. There's what, a time the, sur difference. the surprising truth about alcohol. Headline. It's fucking awesome. Not what it said, but right. I think the same as you. Right. Something we agree on for once. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. It's yep. my segment. Fair. Silence. Fair. 
cut that bit, Willie. I don't want people to think I'm mean to Jack. <laughs> yeah, I'll make him look like the asshole. Thanks so much. <laughs> okay, first article. Fuck off. I'm oh, so sorry. Jesus. So sorry. Lulu go surfing on Google Chrome. On Google Chrome. Like, I just instantly knew what you mean. Yes, you go. Jesus. So sorry. Hey, you're right. Okay. Idaho man drinks a litre of lemon juice in record time. Idaho last night. Fuck. Sorry, I forgot the thing. I forgot no, the No, that's rule. actually. I did forget that's the rule. Quite, <laughs> I'll allow that one because okay. it, was, it was very quick. Thanks, kid. Just kid. <laughs> He earned a, earning the potential Guinness World. Sorry, I, I was thinking of that joke. I didn't hear the. Okay, an Idaho man drank a liter of lemon juice through a, through a straw in thirteen point six four seconds. Oh my lord! I don't think that's that fast. A, a, lemon think, juice, a liter of lemon juice. I think I could potentially. Lo, Louisa, uh, I think there might be lemon juice in the fridge. It's, it's, no, I ne- no, we're doing it next podcast. No, no, no. No, I want a liter of it. We're doing it no, next no, podcast. No, no. Let's just let's test your waters. No. If you think you can do a litre, kid, no, let's test your waters with lemon juice. No, no, no. Let's do a whole litre next pot. Well, if you can if you can get through some of this, we'll test you with oh, the lemon. Oh, no. My, yeah. my tummy no, won't No, boy, look at this Terry Tough cunt fucking having a full crack. How much is this? Let's check. How much, darling? 285 mil we've got bedwetters. Oh, this is perfect. You've, I don't want to do You've dug your anymore. own grave here. I don't want to do it anymore. I know you don't, more. buddy, but you were just screaming to do but a litre. My little tummy. Louisa. I, can I? Fuck you, Willie. Can I? Can I? Let's postulate what we think Lou's going to get through. I think, I think you will get. I think you'll get two sips in, Willie. I think about one or two because you'll, you'll, the tartness will make your jaw clench up. Bed wetters. Well, I didn't no, realize no. it's not like lemonade. Like it's it's strong. It's going to be sour. You were just saying. You were just like, a leader. I'm like, a leader. But I was imagining it in like a bucket with a straw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no different to this. This is, you're going to suck it through with it, internal straw. So this is bedwetters for your. Can I tap out? No, you cannot. You've dug your grave. It's my shall... segment though. Yeah, correct. And you've cooked it, buddy. Can we save it for next year? Nope. And bedwetters, get a bucket bedwetters, with this a straw? This is 99.9% lemon juice. Now, Louisa, let's see how far you get through it because you talked a big game, sister. <laughs> this is going to be great. Fuck you. <laughs> This is so sorry, Hello Sport Boys. This is for their tequila sodas. Fuck them. All right. So, and Lou, can you, can you, how far do you think you'll get through? If you think you can drill a leader. Well, I've got golf after this, so I don't want to hurt my tum tum. Shut the fuck up. Come on. Let's see what you got. Okay. Okay, We're going to count you down from three, and you've just got to go hell for leather as fast as you can. Okay. Ready? Willie, count with me. Three, Three, two, two, one. one. Sips. Big ones, sir. I was right, though. You got two. So, you think you could drill a litre of that? No, I take it back. There you go, buddy. So, let's be impressed with the man. And that took you about six seconds to get through two sips. He's drilled a litre in fucking 13 seconds. Yeah, that is quite a lot. There you go, bud. I take it back. Perspective generated. Idaho man. He had a nasty stomach ache. Well, what's going to happen to me? You had two sips, buddy. Let's just give give it a break. Well... You never know. Guess a guy that lemon juice. I've got bad indigestion, but this will make my acid stomach tummy go. Okay, crazy. you do it as fast as you can. Go. Oh, mine was fucking heaps compared to you. Yeah, but you I wasn't. Pussy. I wasn't going for the ice when I tasted it. Oh. Oh, it is gross. What Makes is? your teeth scrapey. Yeah, that's what I mean. I've got. Wait till you taste the eggy taste. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I actually it's do. Fucked, look, fucked, isn't it? Can I please? That is actually so weird. I was like, what there's a little you, eggy. It's a little eggy lemon. That is bizarre. And it's not off. The zero point zero one percent, maybe. Zero point seven of a basketball of egg. It's not nice. It's, it's pure lemon juice. It's zero point one percent antioxidant, a, a, a ascorbic acid. But there is an eggy aftertaste. It's disgusting. Not happy. Well, yeah, he got the Guinness World Record: thirteen point six seconds for a litre. Pretty good. Not as good as us, but close. 
Uh, was it the Guinness Book of fucking idiots? Have you seen that Norm Macdonald joke? Scott Damaro. Nah, we won't do it. <laughs> we won't do it. Next headline. Yep. German Zoo treats elephants to daily pedicures. Sorry, sorry. Jim in zoo. German. <laughs> German. That's how you say German. German. Jim and zoo, it, said, it sounds I like. I said German. German zoo. Treats elephants to pedicures. How cute's that? Elephants to pedicures. They, they enjoyed snacks. So what do they eat? Peanuts and pedicures. Yeah. They must be pretty tame cute. elephants, wouldn't they? Well, yeah, you couldn't be doing it to wild elephants. Big old bull elephant fucking. They're the big ones. So what, they paint their toenails? Yep. Willie, can we get some photos of these painted toenails of these pheffalons? At the Cologne Elephant Park in Germany, they spoil their lucky, ten lucky elephants each day with a pedicure. A Aww. pedicure. So the zookeepers use an angle grinder to shorten the elephant's nails. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> big, big feet. Big trotters. You know what they say. You know big what? Big feet. You know Big elephant. Big, ta- big elephant. You know what those will be good for? A hot girl lap around Rose Bay. They look kind of shit. Oh, Jack. <laughs> I think it's cute. Yeah, I know. It just looks a bit shit. Don't you reckon? Well, how else are you meant to paint those big, big toes? Don't. Well, I think it's quite a cute thing to do, actually. <laughs> I think you're being a bit cynical. Yep. Oh, You've being... literally heard me say cynical ten minutes. You've never used the word cynical in your life. I Jack use it most days. <laughs> <laughs> being cynical, uh, <laughs> being cynical is subjective. It's okay. Subjective cynicism. Yeah. Yep. And also in Australian news, meet Jonathan, the hundred and ninety-two year old tortoise, is the world's oldest land animal and boasts the two Guinness World Records. One hundred ninety-two. He years old. looks. Terrifying. He looks like a dead grandma. So what was he born in, 1840 or something? 1840? Not good at maths. Not my first. If he was born in, if he was around through the days of Wild Bill Hickok, that is wild. You know? Yeah. Famous gunman in the old days. I know. I know him well. He was very cynical. Wild Wild Bill was cynical. How did Wild Wild Bill Hickok die again? Gun right through the nose. Poof. You're actually dead right. I know. He I know was I'm shot well. Through the back of the head, and yep. the bullet left his straight through the left nose, left nostril. cheek, left cheek, bone. Very close, though. Yeah, I know. I know my shit. Yeah, look at him. That's Jonathan. So when was he born? What's hundred? And- Let's work this out. So he he's a hundred and ninety-two. So if we go two thousand twenty-four, take away hundred and ninety-two. Oh, two. Well, that works. Eighteen thirty-two. I was close with eighteen wow. forty. 1832. Jonathan has seen some shit. Jonathan has, Jonathan saw, Jonathan saw the American Civil War. Yep. The end of slavery. World War One, World War Two, Vietnam. Trump become prime minister, president. Well, president, Fuck. buddy. Yeah, the president of the United States. Yeah, it's not Trump the prime minister. Yeah, I'm aware. iPhones. He saw the backpack kid do the floss. He saw. Kid We're just talking dab? about important stuff. He, he, saw, he saw the invention of da- style? dabbing. He saw you know? planking. He saw the invention of um, lip syncing video and TikTok dances. He saw when lolly gobble bliss bombs were invented. Correct. He was 150 kilos. If he's still cooking, then he's 150 he kilos. He's a big unit. It was, so what's his dietary requirement? Similar to Lou at eight. Just anything he says. Yeah, anything he says, including human babies. Oh, well, Jack. Well, you would. Remember, you'd just gobble them up like a lolly gobble <laughs> baby bomb. I've got to try some of those. Human babies? Got lolly gobble bliss bombs. <laughs> you know where good. I'll be buying them. Hundred no- that is unbelievable. That's a good Lulu go surfing. Amazon. He would have seen the invention of surfing. He would have. Well, no. I think that, uh, and Google Chrome. And Google Chrome. And Lulu. Yeah. Shit. Jonathan, by Jingle Jungle. Kids got some knowledge. Well, check. you know how there's been the, the Grand Prix going on? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. You look like that. A, a, a nod still means oh, yes. Oh, right. Okay, Louisa. cool. Well, there's the e pre in Tokyo. I think it's electric cars. Oh, God. So what, they go like 45 kilometres an hour? No, wait for it. 
Guess right. where the right. racetrack is? Canberra. All along the Tokyo waterfront. It's full-blown Tokyo drift. They go through the suburbs and across, around the waterfront. Like, it's actual Tokyo drift. What, like 50 kilometres an hour? Could just you like, just think just that like, was fun? Could you just think that was fun and cool? Like a really That's slow. a real-life Tokyo drift, Jack. Isn't that cool? Imagine you, just, imagine you get an apartment that looks over the waterfront in Tokyo and you just see the car. They don't go that slow, look. To be honest, I drove a electric car in Adelaide. It's the fastest thing I've ever been in. Fair yeah, so go fuck yourself. Yeah, they don't have much fucking battery life in them. Huh? Well, just besides from you having your thing about the e-cars, <coughs> <laughs> there you go. How cool is that? Tokyo Drift. Real life Tokyo Drift. But they wouldn't be drifting. But they're just going fast around the middle of the subs. Suburbs. Yeah. All right, that's, yeah, okay, cool. I thought that was pretty cool. Yep. I'm allowed to think that's cool. You, you are, buddy. And if you don't sure? think it's cool, then it doesn't matter, because I think it's cool. Well, you're a cool little senorita, aren't I you? I am. I'm the coolest we've ever been. What, the coolest senorita ever? Yep. Even cooler than Sophia, Sophia Vergara. Yep. You think you're cooler than Sophia Vergara? Yep. She's one hell of a senorita. Talk shit to me and I'll squirt that lemon juice in your eyes. Easy. Sorry. That's reserved for TDD, that sort of stuff. Jack. Oh, sorry. No innuendos. Oh, God. Fucking hell. I'm so sorry, Lou. I'm just, I panic, you know, and I just get nervous. No, it's okay. Uh, it's a defence mechanism. I'm not one to hold a grudge. It's a no, t- Jack, give me a hand. No. G- give me a hand. Not a chance. Pass it here. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's a defence mechanism. I would have seen my little sweat patch. Well, you uh, forcibly made me show my sweat patches the other I did. podcast. I did. You We've got fun. one more, which I think you'll enjoy. I think you might have a bit of a giggle at this okay. one. Okay. Woman nurses stricken baby hedgehog overnight, only to discover it was a fluffy hat bobble. I beg your pardon? She had been nursing what she thought was a hedgehog overnight. Right. Trying to feed it. <clears throat> it was wrapped up in a little ball. It was a fluffy hat bobble. <laughs> from like the top of a beanie. This wo- she took it to the animal hospital. Does this woman perchance suffer some, from some sort of a brain injury at some point? or? Nope. She rushed it to the, to the hospital after spending the night looking after it. Well, it was wasn't a hedgehog. Oh that was a God. hat. How do you f- how do you fuck up a fully live animal? To with be a hat? fair, that looks pretty hedgehoggy to me. But once you pick it up and I grab know. it, and it's not moving, there's no face, legs, movement, warmth. Yeah, she said she was embarrassed when the rescuer told the woman. She said, "You're joking." She then sheepishly walked out of the animal hospital, box to, in hand. To be fair, I've done something I'll similar. Do the same. Walk out of a hospital with your box in hand. Oh fuck. Sorry, I've just, it's a defence me- I panic, and it's a defence <laughs> What do you mean, box in hand? <laughs> or boxing hand? No. Box. Yeah, but. Do you know what a box is? Yes. Yeah, box in hand. Right. <laughs> Wasn't your best. Do you know, I've done something similar, though. I um <clears throat> had a pet snake. Ugh, you're sick. I know, diamond python. Ugh. And I thought it was... Um, Are you allowed to pet them? Is that illegal? It's legal. And I thought it was cooked and I took it to the vet. Turns out I just picked up a belt off the floor. It was just my belt. You're lying. Correct, Louisa. <laughs> I was going to say, that would have been hilarious. Have I spun the yarn though how I got out of a um, out of a ticket because I had half a snake in my ute? In your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Not half a snake, sugar. <laughs> well, Quarter. Less. <clears throat> Quarter snake. An eighth of a snake. Yeah. Let's, not Let's call it a gentleman's 115 yeah. of a snake. <laughs> Let's call it a 0.5 of a b-ball. Let's call it a 0.5 of a b-ball. No, have I spun that yarn before? No. So when I was working on at Congai on the sheep station, I'd been out mustering. I came back and there was this dog, Ringo. Cute and I name. went to see Ringo and he had torn up this fucking uh, black snake, red belly snake. Red belly black snake. All around him was this torn up snake. Except that the head, like about that much of the snake, was attached to his collar. It was stuck in his collar. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, okay. And then he just, he's obviously just ripped it to shreds. But because the head was stuck in his collar, I'm like, maybe it fucking tagged him a few times. Red bellies, bites on dogs, I think are okay, but they can still kill him. Red so, belly, black snake. Yeah, good work, mate. So I go, I called up the owner. I was like, mate, I think he's been tagged by a red belly. What do you want me to do? You know, because it's like pretty expensive to fucking take a dog get them any and shit. 
He's like, take him to the vet. I said, okay, chuck Ringo in the car. And I didn't know that anti-venom would just cover all snakes. I thought you had to have specific venoms. You know what I mean? So I had the, this top half of a snake and I just put it by my feet on the floor of my ute. Had Ringo in the, in the back. Drive him down, drop him to the vet, drive him back up. And I'm on my phone texting um, uh, fucking uh, Gideon. I was texting Gids being like, mate, I've dropped him to the vet. They said they'll keep an eye on him. If the venom starts to affect him, they'll administer the anti venine <laughs> Anyway, so I'm on the phone. I think I'm fucking trying to call him or something. Anyway, whoop, whoop, copper behind me. Wee, wee, wee. And I'm like, fuck. So I oh, fucking wind down. I'm like, oh, my God, here we go. Wind down the window. And I don't want to mention names and stuff because, you know, anyway, I knew the copper. And he goes, what are you doing? And I said, he goes, mate, I've got the new fucking Sarge in the car, the new head of the wild car. He's like, what are you doing on your phone? And I go, mate, I said, dog's just been bitten by a snake, blah, 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 blah. He's like, and I go, look, have a go right here. And he sees like the head top half of a red belly black snake and he's like oh fuck I'm like yeah I've just had to take him to the vet this is the fucking snake blah blah and he goes oh, go on, get the fuck out of here and got off the ticket because I had half a snake I in guess my car. it's not that you should be speeding but was people speeding sorry but not that you should be phone. on your phone but I guess people would probably get out oh well I don't know if everyone would let you off that. Well, here's the tip for anyone that's going around on their phone in cars. Just have half a dead red belly on the floor of your vehicle and turns out you can get away with it. Well, it's an old adage, I know. Cars from, would you say, 2015 will now have, no less, 2008 have Bluetooth? You don't really need your phone up to your ear, do you? Didn't have Bluetooth, kid. You know, this car was, this car didn't have Bluetooth. My year didn't have it. Well, what you were doing was illegal. Yeah, that, uh, Louisa, that was the crux of the story. It was and, illegal. And, and basically what I've, what I've just told you, that was the crux of it. What I was doing it was, was illegal. It was quite a long-winded story. No, it wasn't that I, long. I was bored. It, I, I, it wasn't that long. I was bored. You just can't listen Will to he? someone bored? talk without making sounds. I was slightly, yeah, did you like how I went, wee, wee? No. I, I think I added a little bit of Do you think you add to stories of, by doing that? A bit of texture, because, you know, stories are subjective, Jack. Being a bit cynical. <laughs> Fuck me dead. Give me some characters. Go on. No, you don't deserve them. Jump on the hotline, Willie. I didn't do any characters. Yes, I did. Oh, Daddy did characters. Well, those boots are quite high up. Yeah, they're high tops. How high? Pull your boot. About as high as you on a Wednesday night when you have a gummy. You sit back, you smoke that big ganja. You know how those big spliffs you've been smoking, those big 30 centimetre spliffs? And you, you always call You know, me Jill won't think you're joking. And she'll think you're Jill, I'm says. not She's like a fucking Rastafarian. She Nick calls, knack paddywhack, Lou's going to roast a bone. <laughs> <laughs> she calls me up, Jill, and she goes, I can tell when she's been doing it. She goes, eh, mum. I go, oh, for fuck's sake. She goes, I just be here watching the shores. I love all the show. I watched a show called One Day. I've been crying for the last 35 hours. I'm like, fuck's sake. I said, Lily, have you been smoking that green stuff? I sure I be blazing the top all night long. I'm the big weird smoker. Louisa Daldin. That is a lie. But that was a very good character. Oh, thank you. So I've played my character. Thank you. Not a cut, just a clap. Can you do the ruster? No. She's tried, but give us a will. The only way is the Jamaican way. The only way is the Jamaican way. Do, do, just say, call, call me like when you do, when you're really high. And just do, say what you'd normally say. Just for clarification, Big Withers, <laughs> I don't smoke marijuana. That's correct, but for this bit, she does. So when you call me up like that, when you're just blazed out of your brain. Okay. Not at just me. Yeah, but tell, talk how you talk to me on the phone. Hey, Jack. No, it did it. Oh, right sorry. There. I thought you. Hey, Jack. I have been smoking, man. <laughs> it's just the fact that you are in every single possible Australian TV show bemuses me. I agree. I'm disgraced by it. Why am I not on Ramsey Street? The neighbours. Good question. Why am I not up at. 
Palm Summer Hill, Palm Beach. Summer Hill High. High. Yeah. Well, maybe this next segment will catch the eye of some sort of a talent agent, some sort of acting fucking bloke. And you will be. Okay? Hey, Millie did it. She did. She got on Home and Away as an influencer. Correct. That was so, her character. So maybe, maybe there's hope for you yet. You're a Spanish pilot trying to hit on the stewardess, but it's not working. Hola, senorita. You want to come into the cockpit? I beg your pardon? Come fly the plane with me in the cockpit. Sorry, we can have a cup of coffee and chat. Hola. Why did you just say hello to me again? We've been talking for the last three minutes. Get in here to the cockpit. You keep saying I'll, the word cock. I'll show you the, the buttons. Of what? The plane. So why are you, losing, your mind your, out why of are you losing your accent? Well, get your mind out <laughs> of <laughs> Okay. Maybe the agent, uh, maybe we'll skip that one agent. We'll give her a new character and we'll see if that impresses you. Because that one. scene. Perfect, Lou. Really good stuff. Give me ones that you know I'll be actually good at. You should be. You're an actor. Well, a self-proclaimed actor. You should be. Well, up. You should be good at all this stuff. Speak to Sheridan Hickey, my speech and drama teacher from age eight. She'll tell you I was. Well, you've you, maybe it's a perishable skill, much like shooting, and you've lost you've lost the ability. You, I was very good at shooting. No, it is a perishable skill by nature. Maybe acting is as well, and you've you've lost the gift. Right. You know what I mean? No. Ah. I mean, which one do I want? You know, this one's actually relevant. You're a burnt out actor trying their hardest to get a line in in a scene that you're not supposed to. <clears throat> so I'm like jumping in. Yeah. So do you want me to, do, oh, maybe I'll act as the actors and you're trying to jump in. But Jeremy, mate, I don't know what he's doing. I just thought he was going I crazy. know what he's doing. I know. I've been with Cut. him. What the fuck are you doing? Sorry, I, I just thought that this would add to the scene because I haven't I haven't said much this. Yeah, scene. you're tree number one, so you're well, a tree. Trees can't talk. So if we could just start the scene again, I just okay. If we could start the scene again, we're in a magical environment. The, the tree could talk. This is we could add the tree talking in. This is Robin Hood and the and the Prince of, of Thieves. This is not. There's no magic to right, this. Right, right. Uh, action. Yeah. So, Big John is gonna go crazy Ooh. when he finds it. Cut, what the fuck? I was, I was being the wind coming through the trees. You literally just farted no, on the, set. It was the wind coming through the trees. It was coming through Ooh. something else. It wasn't the trees. No, it was through my mouth. I went, Ooh. I thought your breath did stink. I did not realise you farted through bit, your mouth. No, 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 no. I was making a sound effect. Sort of would add to the atmosphere. Right. The atmos. Yeah. L would love for you to shut the fuck up. Right. All right. If we could start again in three, two, one, action. Yeah, Lade Marion was looking red hot the other day. You see them titties? Oh, sh oh, sh Cut. It's just the trees blowing in the wind. You know, the only way you're ever going to get anywhere in Hollywood in this town, Dale, is if you start blowing. So fucking get out the back to that casting couch. <laughs> you want a line Jack. so bad? Producer? Well, I'm done. Hey, I'm done with the set. That's showbiz, baby. Go fuck yourself. No. 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 You, uh, I didn't think that scene was too bad. Well, yeah, you played it well. Thank you. You did play it well. Thank you so much. You're a cannibal on a relatively undiscovered island trying to decide how best to cook up the white explorer that you've just killed. God. <sighs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Now, should I use the oregano? I would like or should a I bit use? of salt and pepper for this one. I'm going to go heavy hand on the pepper and then I'm going to get perhaps some paprika. And then I've got some broccolini and maybe I'll roast some eggplants and I'll chop, chop, chop the legs to start off and we'll make some little leg Don't you thighs. think you'd be bemused that you've, se that you've never seen a white person before? Don't you think that's a bit exciting? Action scene. Well, this will be a new flavour for me. <laughs> and I'm going to chop up this thigh and I'm going to put some... Oregano on this okay. and some mixed Italian herbs. Okay, so you've just, now, I'm you just going to do it for one second. I'm going to do it. <laughs> the white meat, you've just gone back to Oregano. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a Coles order to the island. Sorry? A Coles order. You're over Because I've, I've, I've misplaced the Oregano and I'd like to also add some uh, uh, extra hot chilli powder to this nice 
thigh. Right, so it's an undiscovered tribe, yet they've got Uber Eats and they're going to Coles, the Uber Eats Coles by boat. But it won't arrive till tomorrow, so for this thigh, I'll have to put up with... Chuck it in the freezer. Yeah. Just chuck it in the deep freeze. Yeah. Yeah, keep it fresh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just watch reruns of How I Met Your Mother while we yeah. wait. And then for the Uber Eats to come. a sauna and an ice bath? Yep. Great. Great. Well, guys, <laughs> fucking Sophia Loren over here. Oh, thanks. It's fine. You're a scientist and you've just created the first ever man-made black hole. Why, why, golly gosh, and why I oughta? <laughs> I cannot I believe that I, I have I just order. discovered this. Look at this giant big hole. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Jeremy, John, and Django, come down here and come look at this giant hole. We oh, must, my, Louisa. We must report. Get your mind out of the gutter. We must report to the media. Get Channel 9 and Channel 7 here immediately. What, is this an OnlyFans? That's a big black hole. Oh, Louisa. Uh, what is this, an only fan? No, Louisa, you get your Jack, mind. You did the you innuendo. You don't even let me finish my scenes and you just jump in. You planned well, that you start talking because about big you holes. wanted to do the big joke. Yeah. Next one. Read me like a fucking book, sister. Yes. But you're over here talking about big holes. What am I supposed to do? I'm a scientist. I found it. <laughs> Willie, could you get on the hotline for us, please? <laughs> that was a setup. I set you up with that one. No, I figured that out when I was halfway through my character, which wasn't too bad, especially with the finger. I love that you, you said, imagine me with why glasses? I order? You were like a 1940s boxer. Like a, 19, a 1940s street kid about to get into a fight. Why, why I, I order? order? Why I order? <laughs> okay. <coughs> hotline. Your phone's on. Sorry for covering. Uh, wait, let's do a hotline jingle, please. <clears throat> I know when the hotline bling. That can only mean we're on the mean. We mean the hotline. Yeah, good. Crushed it once again. You've absolutely smoked show. You're our own podcast <laughs> name. Now. G'day, you hot cunt. <laughs> now. Louisa Del Din. More like Louisa Del Dam. <laughs> and Jack, as far as I'm concerned, mate, it's Jack me off, Archdale. <laughs> Peace out. Hot. I liked that. I thought it was quite nice. Started for something complimentary. I think it was, yeah. I really liked that too. That just goes downhill from here. Yep. Shaka! Shaka! (laughs) And he pronounced it Shaka. Yeah, Shaka! (laughs) Sometimes the simple ones are the. Cheeky little dog. Easy. What? Call him a dog? Woof. Meow. Hey, senoritas <laughs> and Willie. Willie's my favourite. Now, listen up, all right? It's your two favourite bedwetters here. And we're sick of Lou referring to herself as eight years old in every f- single fucking story that she tells on this goddamn podcast. <laughs> There's not enough days in the year for her to be eight years old for all of these fucking stories. Hi, oh, you, Kiki Lou and Chachi and Willie. <laughs> It's not true. There was an eight-year-old Lou yarn every single day for 365 days. And you've probably only told 120 of them. <clears throat> We've got plenty more time to... to, 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 to You're okay, buddy. Been Fuck, I'm trying to find this fucking bedwetter that fucking told me to fucking listen to... Oh, yeah, you had one from last ep, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, but I can't find that fucking thing. What was she doing? What character was she doing in? She John, was doing John. John, John. who likes Ruff. Taco Tuesday. Have you got anything for the tacos? I'll do the next one while you no, look. No, John, we're having fish tacos tonight and you're not invited. My favourite fish tacos reminds me of something. Oh, fuck. <laughs> sorry. Fuck no innuendo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're dead right. Uh, bro, I can't fucking... Boys. Louisa. Just a quick one. Episode 11, if you cast your mind back to the roast, about 11 minutes, 50 to 12 minutes. Talk about there's a few ghost things been happening. I was scared because to get on the podcast every week and you said, Hey, Judge, just because they're with me doesn't mean their name's going to be on the podcast every week. Well, just run me through. I'm not. PDD. Yeah. Since the big date. Yeah. How many times have you been mentioned on the podcast? 
Let me tell you, kid, every app. <laughs> oh, no, keep pissing. Keep pissing. He's saying that I said I was never going to mention You said, oh, I just wouldn't mention. What, they need to be mentioned every podcast? Absolutely not. And then he's saying every podcast, TDD. Yeah, but that's because I actually like him and I've got a boyfriend. Even like, <laughs> what? Other what? people like... <laughs> Oh my god, gross! Other people I've dated, I clearly haven't mentioned because I didn't like them. Oh, Jesus sorry. Christ! So sorry to everyone Holy else. Holy dooly, Mrs. Fucking Tabuli! So sorry to everyone else. Lou likes TDD. Oh, sorry, I completely forgot. I still have an insurmountable amount of power over you. Um, now, what should you do? I think you should. Don't finish the lemon juice. Get fucked. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to finish the lemon juice. Willie, what can we do that's creative and fun? You've got to you gotta bang your rings on that drink bottle, make a beat. So doom 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 doom. And make up a song about T D D. Otherwise a, I release To a raster beat. To a raster beat. You've got to do a Rastafari and jingle for T D D and the things you like about him. Okay. Otherwise, I release his fucking name, kid. All right, kid. Let's see what you got. Give us your rasta. Hey, it's a song about TDD. <laughs> we went on a date for ten days, and it didn't end because it was so great. <laughs> the thing, things you like about him. Um, he's very kind and makes me giggle. <laughs> Wears a fedora and sunglasses every time he facetimes me. What do you like physically? Physical he's things. He's big and tall and. Lots of other things. <laughs> and what? And what? You're a raster, remember? And and he doesn't smoke ganja. <laughs> okay. We're in the run, raster phase. <laughs> this is. And scene. This is horrific stuff. Holy shit! I only really just turned into a sultana. I oh. like that bit cut, really. Oh, not a chance. I like that bit off. Otherwise, I'm going live with the name, kid. It's I'm probably, going. We probably, mean well, live. It's probably time soon. <laughs> almost time for that. I disagree. He doesn't want it. He doesn't and, give a fuck. Yeah, he does. Actually, I spoke to him. Oh, and this, this, he I have an unbridled care. amount of power in this. You situation. just, you enjoy. He doesn't give a fuck, and you're enjoying that. Correct, Amundi. You know what else I got for the bedwetters? Little photo with a very famous <coughs> surfer in there. Big fanning. I got a photo of the video. You teasing? I'm teasing. I got a photo of the bed. So you're gonna. So where you putting that kid? I might put that on the story, kid. All right. So you're giving us you're giving us breadcrumbs. This is Hansel and Gretelina sort of stuff. Yeah. Hanselina and Gretel. So Hanselina. Why was Hanselina? Oh, because Hansel had changed to a girl. Yeah. Now, right. So you, you and it, is this with Millie's permission? Millie has sent me the photo. Okay, that's sweet, sweet angel. All right. So you're giving us a tickle. I'm giving a taste. you a little, a little. I'm breadcrumbing you. We're dating and I'm, I'm giving you a little breadcrumb. All right. All right, crumb us up. When's the crumb coming out? The crumb will come out when this podcast comes out, Jack. So, so tomorrow. Today. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> right now. It's coming. We'll put it up in 10 minutes. I'll beep that. Yeah, no, Thanks don't so beep much, it. Don't, do not beep it. <laughs> We're just fucking idiots. Next hotline, sugar tits. You stupid cunts. <laughs> that... Two seconds of walking on sunshine pops my eardrums. <laughs> 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 I remember that. We had to figure out if I had a song before we called Franco, I think. So what was that when we, what's walking on sunshine? I played something before we called Franco just to check that the Bluetooth was Oh, connected. and it blew his eardrums yes. out. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Apologies, Lou is yeah. a serial killer. All right, one more hotline. Oh, sorry. Oh, did you find Cunts. Two. Go, go, Willie. Cunts. Two in one shampoo is criminal shit because mm -hmm. one, conditioner is not meant to go on the roots of your hair. Yep. What? Two, you are meant to shampoo twice. And conditioning yes. twice, especially putting that shit on your fucking roots, is just going to make your hair look oily mm -hmm. in a day. Like, what kind of motherfucker is doing that shit besides you, Josh? Correct. You're an idiot, Jack. Well, I'll tell you what I'm not doing. Killing turts so I can have a bouncy fucking blow dry. All right? 
because I don't wash my hair, kid. Yeah, but and if I was, I'd use right. two in one, so I don't waste plastic. Maybe I'm a for you, lover. for females, it would make the top of our hair very greasy if you got nice long luscious locks. Jack, you're not going to find. I it. am uh, sorry. So court, so court Monday. So court, otherwise known as Cuntney, shout out to Cuntney, said. Doing Darch, Cuntney here. Listen to the hotline at 8.46 and 8.47 tonight. That was sent on Monday at 9.50. Team, I just have a bone to pick because I've just been listening to episode 103, um, the Baboom episode, um, and I would just like to say you're talking about cannelloni. You mean fucking cannoli, Lou, I thought you were Italian. Mm-hmm. Um, cannelloni is fucking pasta, boys. <laughs> it's pasta. Yes, it is filled with, like, whatever, feta or whatever you want in there, but you're talking about cream. You're talking about cannoli. Correct. Cannoli. So, um, as an Italian myself, is actually really hurtful. Anyway, love you guys. Bye. That's giving deja vu. Because we did have a lot of things at the time yeah. tearing strips off you about right. it because you're Italian and you were saying cannelloni. Yeah, but uh, would you expect any less? Like, obviously, I just muddled the word up, you know? We, we do that every yeah. single episode. Yeah. Um, so, it's, yeah, so sorry, but thank, so court, thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, yeah, that was you, Court. Thanks. Number one, Court, as a self-professed avid fan of the podcast. Surprise, you're only up to 103. Correct. Number two, if that's not you and we found the wrong thing, Please take this as a tremendous apology. So sorry either way. Yeah, we've so been sorry drinking. Way. We've been drinking heavily. Hey, and guys, don't forget that we've got Patreon starting very, very soon. We, we do have the indeed. Exact date for you, so you'll get two, essentially an extra two episodes a week. Uh, there'll be extended ones from our normal ones that will be on Spotify and Apple and whatever. But this will just be for the Super Soaking Senior Eaters on Patreon. Correct. There'll be extra, extra content, maybe a couple of videos, well, bonus content, bonus con, and also we will be giving one lucky Super Soaking Senior Eater a shout out each week and early access to live show tickets, I believe. Which is when, coming when, when when we get the live soon. shows cranking and tranking. Yes. Thank you so much for listening yet again, Bedwetters. We love you. And mwah, mwah, say love and don't be sinister, cynical today. And and comedy is subjective. You you are going to be a future Nobel uh, award prize, peace prize winner. Thank you. One of the the only nice is. thing you've said to me. You're going to win one of those Nobels. And guess what? There'll be no bells and whistles with you, kid, because you're you're down to earth. You'll stomp up there in four thousand dollar joggers. You'll flash the rollie. That's the end, Willie. You'll say, Jeeves, pick this award up. I shan't not cut carry there. it. Cut there. Too heavy for me, Andrew. Cut there. Anyway, love you, senoritas. Keep right. pissing all over yourselves, for yes, fuck's please. sake. please. Okay, love you guys. Love you so Bye. much. Oh, my God. Jeeves, get the fuck over here and <laughs> shine Jarch and I's shoes now. Jeeves, I'm sick to fucking death. Are you standing over there doing fucking nothing? Get us a coffee now. Fucking Jeeves. I'm going to...